In this video, guys, I'm gonna talk about why I love machines, right? For the gym, the advantages, and yeah, just the advantages. <laughs> What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Here we're all about a smarter and more sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts for the older guys, right? Um, myself, I'm 41 years old, brown belt in judo, going for the black, going for a world title. Also, I did BJJ for six years prior to that and essentially a lifelong martial artist. I'm also a um, personal trainer, right? So I do online coaching and of course in-person uh, coaching also. Let's get in. I want to explain to you guys why I really learn to appreciate machines. A lot of people believe that free weights is the superior form of uh, weightlifting, of resistance training. In some cases, yes, there's, uh, there's, there's pros and cons to both, guys. Now, I'm just going to explain in this video the advantages for the machines. I see everything as a tool. So there's not one thing that's better than the other. It really depends on your needs, what you're trying to do, and sometimes your circumstances. The more tools you have at your disposal, uh, the better off you'll be. So using the right tool at the appropriate moment, time period in your life, you can't just be fixated. I used to be like this. That's why I'm trying to explain it to you. I used to be fixated on for example, calisthenics only, body weight only, then after that, weight training only, then after that, free weights. And then from there, oh, machines. No, actually, no. I appreciate the machines, but I'm not just all about the machines. These are the things that I really like about machines. The first thing is that it's low risk. You can't really injure yourself using machines, but anything else, body weight, right? or using free weights, you could get busted up. If you're lifting maybe too heavy, you do a, a wrong movement, you're not properly warmed up. I mean, yeah, it's, you can't hurt yourself, but it's very, very low risk because you're essentially, you isolate a muscle group and there's no stabilization required. The movement pattern is predetermined. So you, you, don't, um, you can't really deviate from that. If you're sitting down on a, a chest press, right? To simulate a bench press, for example, working out your chest. You can't really sway to the left or to the right or like, you know, go crooked or anything like that because the machine won't let you. On to the next uh, advantage. It's great for rehab and injuries. Injured people or people who haven't worked out in a while and want to get back into it. If you're coming out of, uh, if you're rehabbing a, in, an injury, you might not be able to, you know, do gymnastic crazy stuff or do or lift free weights because it requires too much coordination, stability, balance, and all that. And one wrong movement can like essentially mess you up. On to the next one. It's easy to use. Unless you're you really don't know anything. But even then, I mean you can just you can just look at the guy next to you and figure it out. You can't really force it in a direction that that uh, that it can't go. For the most part, it's very straightforward, very easy to use, of course. You could always do it wrong, but you know. Next one, better isolation. If you're using free weights or when you're doing calisthenics, pretty much your whole body is involved in the movement. And you could kind of compensate because you're standing up, standing up or leaning over or whatnot. But I mean, it's very easy to use other muscles to help you lift the weight, push the weight, pull the weight, whatever. The movement pattern is, is predetermined already. So you just sit down and you do what you have to do and you focus on that muscle group that you're trying to train. A bodybuilder invented the machines because he realized they're actually better for bodybuilding because bodybuilding is all about time under tension, making the muscles grow. And of course, building the muscle at the right spots. There's no 100% isolation, but you could isolate it uh, much better than if you just use free weights. The advantage is that it's faster, guys. Like a machine, you, you walk into the gym, Right? You don't need to set anything up. You don't have an Olympic bar having to put on the weights, the clips and all that adjustment. You know, a machine, you actually just really just sit down, select your weight and you go. What I do now is that I use both these machines and for certain exercises. And of course I use uh, free weights also, right? Now, so it's a tool, you know? And sometimes another thing I wanted to add is that if you're, let's say on your deload week, deload week means that 
it's a week where you're taking it easy. You know, you've been training hard for a while, you kind of need a break, but you don't want to just stop and do nothing. So you go back to the gym, you want to do things light. So machines are great for that. You just go in, you put light weight, you sit down, no stabilizers needed. It's fast, it's easy. Boom, 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 take care of business in and out much faster. The reason why it's good for bodybuilders and bodybuilding, the weight is constant throughout the strength curve. Let's say a bicep curl, right? Certain parts of it are gonna be easier, uh, harder, and certain parts of it are gonna be easier for you. If you're holding a barbell uh, like this. At the bottom here, it's hard, it's hard. Once you get here, you're stronger. Once you get here, you're even stronger. The weight here and the weight here, the resistance isn't the same. With a machine, the tension is constant throughout the whole motion. You actually get a better, um, you get more time under tension. And because it's more constant, you actually kind of get better results. I hope that made sense, guys. If you're interested, guys, like uh, I'll leave, uh, there's a link below in the description, right? Where you could uh, fill out a form. And if you're interested in working with me, right? I do online coaching and all that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, um, share the video. Yeah.